tend to, when I'm working with Greg, I do lots of little sketches, sort of thumbnail sketches, which I could just might just sort of hold up here. Um, and they, that's basically a page of the range of whole of Eliza's costumes. So we would start with the, with the corset and the underwear, and we'd have to get that shape absolutely right, and that would be the first fittings we do, is to actually get the actress into the shape we need her to be. And then we would make a toile out of um, some spare fabric that's knocking about, that's kind of got the same similar properties to what we're going to make it of finally. And then we'd make it out of the final fabric and do yet another fitting and start laying on bits of trim or anything we need to do to sort of finish it off. Look at hats, look at accessories, look at gloves, shoes and bags and things to go with it. It's uh, a day dress, it's um, um, quite colourful. Um, it's uh, very, very stylish. She's probably, she's probably going, she will be the most stylish person in the room when she enters. You may think it's strange because I don't put a single colour on my drawings, which is, you know, is, is my way of having freedom, really. I like to do these um, sketches that enable us to still um, keep things open and to move on and experiment. Alongside my drawings, I do these sort of photographic collages which are actual research of the period and they show um, well there's a great example of a flower girl here in Covent Garden and really these are just a kind of um, an atmospheric thing for both the director myself and the, the actress to get a kind of feel of the whole period and a feel of what we're doing. This is the first time we see Eliza after Higgins, Professor Higgins has started creating this new identity for her, so it really has to be a statement dress. Each cutter is making three dresses, so we have four weeks from the start of the show, so they have to schedule three and four weeks, so you're talking a dress a week virtually. Everything has to be finished for technical rehearsal. So that's the first time everybody sees everything on stage. Um, from technical rehearsal day to press night, it can all change. To see a drawing being interpreted and created three-dimensionally on an actor is great when you see it on stage, under lights, in the right setting, doing what it's meant to do, which is create an atmosphere and help a story, as far as I'm concerned. Um, when it's doing that, it's really working and you feel like you've really done your job well. How do you do, Mr Higgins? Mr Higgins told me I'm going to This is the poshest dress. I have ever worn on stage. It feels amazing. I mean, the the the, the, the fabrics and the the feel of the um, the feel and style and shape of the outfit help you to do the scene and be the character at that point in time. So, but yeah, you feel a million dollars walking on a stage in a dress like that. It's uh, it's something, yeah.